um, grossly good people all over the world. Um, Romans chapter 16, verse 25 on your bread of life today and the title is the mystery of christ the secret of christ the secret of god you understand the new king james version says now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel that means god is able to establish you according to the gospel of his grace this, this is what paul is saying this god is able to establish you according to my gospel that mystery. Then he says, And the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, kept secret since the world began. God is able to establish your family. God is able to establish your life and everything around and about you. Well, how? By the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery. So do you want your life to be established? Here, you, you better know the revelation of Christ. Hallelujah. Now, let me start by saying this, that the subject matter of the gospel, listen, is the mystery of the Christ. Ephesians 3, 8 and 9 we read, and as you read, you'll find that before the foundations of the world was laid, this mystery was hid in God. You can find that it was hid in God. It was a secret. Okay, and today I want to open your eyes to that mystery. Colossians says, Chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, that the mystery, uh -huh, the mystery which, was, which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints, to them God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So when Paul is saying the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Here's the mystery, Christ in you. That the only gospel that can establish you is the preaching of the Christ in you. To let you know that this God is in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's the mystery. In other words, the glory of this mystery is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This glory was hid to the prophets of old, but unto us it has been revealed. Christ in us, not in Abraham or David, uh, Gideon, all those guys in the Old Testament. No, but Christ in us, the hope of glory. You understand? Abraham didn't have it. David didn't have it. But Moses didn't have it. But we have it. We have this mystery. So from our text, that which establishes souls, that which fixes men, is not the preaching of Christ according to demonology or prosperity, it is the plain preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of this mystery. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I mean to say that Christ in you is the confidence that you have against your enemy. Christ in you is the confidence that you have against sickness. Christ in you is the confidence that you have against failure. Christ in you is the confidence that you have against fear. Name it. First John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Oh my God. I love this mystery already. So, when this mystery is revealed to your spirit, you will realize that you don't need a prophet to locate you because in you, you have the ultimate fixer, Jesus Christ. The question is, do you have the revelation of the Christ in you. That will make a difference. So pray that God will give you the spirit of, his, of wisdom and the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And once you get that, your, the eyes of your understanding will be flooded with light. You will know the hope of your, um, of your calling, the glorious inheritance of the saints and the exceeding greatness of his power that is at work because you believe and you know this, uh, this mystery. And once you do that, I can guarantee you one thing, surely, for sure, for sure, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.